Welcome back to the Park Hoppers Radio. This is our YouTube channel. So if you're here, thank you guys. If you're here for the first time, we are the Park Hoppers Radio. We have a podcast all about the amusement park and theme park industry. So definitely check that out. Uh, but we're doing a video doing the King's Island rankings for their roller coasters, all the way from S, best tier, C, middle tier, F. It's kind of like the worst tier, terrible. But we're going to rank those rides um, on this on this tier list today. Um, so if you guys enjoy these videos, definitely leave a like and subscribe. We're trying to get the 100 subscribers, so that'd be amazing. And I'll, we'll be posting every Sunday and every Wednesday for our podcast. So every Wednesday at 12 o'clock, you can check out our podcast. Then every Sunday at 5 o'clock p.m., you can check out our YouTube videos. So without further ado, let's get into this tier list. But before we do, a few special shout outs to our Patreon subscribers. Jackson at our Diamond tier, Caleb and Ali at our Platinum tier, Joe at our gold tier, Aiden and Matt at our silver pass tier. So thank you guys for all the support that you give us. And if you want extra bonus content, extra episodes for the podcast and behind the scenes content. And if you want some printed photography and it's printed and shipped out to you, definitely check out our Patreon page. But if you want to support us, the easiest way you can is just leaving a like and following us on our social media. So without further ado, let's get into the rankings. So I have, we're going to, we're going to rank this just like this. I'm gonna start out with Woodstock Express. I mean, it's. I mean, it's. I give it a. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna give it a C tier. Woodstock Express is not a bad kids ride. It's. It's a pretty average ride, and I enjoy it. It's not rough at all, but the seats are very uncomfortable for somebody that's over the feet, over like six feet tall. But it's not a bad kids ride per se, and it's a good starter wood coaster. So I'm gonna keep it at the C tier for that. Um, we got, we even got in Vertigo I and mean, we got, I mean, we got Vortex on here. I'm gonna put Vortex in the B tier. I know it's not here anymore. Rest in peace, Vortex, but, um, definitely, definitely in the B tier. Uh, it was a good arrow looper and I definitely missed it. That plot of land definitely needs filled in. Um, uh, but for the time being, I'm going to keep it with a B tier. It wasn't bad. It's better than Corkscrew, uh, better than Anaconda, but yeah, definitely going to keep it B tier. Um, let's go with, uh, another defunct with Firehawk. I'm, I only rode Firehawk one time and my experience on it was pretty limited. Um, it was after it was moved from Jugga Lake and I was around 14 when I rode it. So I'm going to give it C tier. It's pretty average. Uh, wasn't anything too exciting and I haven't rode the one at Carowinds yet. So I'm going to leave it at the C tier. Um, let's get... The bat. Bat's F tier. I'm sorry for all my King's Island lovers. I think Iron Dragon's a better ride. I know it's more intense than the Iron Dragon, and it's supposed to be like that, but I just didn't find this... I mean, it was rough. Uh, it was unenjoyable, and honestly, it was just pretty short and pretty boring. So, keep it there. Uh, Great Pumpkin Coaster. I'm going to put D tier. I haven't rode it. It's the only ride, ride I haven't rode in the park, uh, but it's a kid's ride, and it's honestly just the kid's ride, so you can't really rank it above anything else. Uh, let's go with another, let's, let's start out with, no, nah, we're going to start with Banshee. Banshee's S tier for me. I think Banshee deserves a spot as S tier. I think it's Hall of Fame tier. And I think it's arguably one of the best, if not the best inverts in the entire country from B&M. Uh, so argue with me all you want, but I want to know your comments. Uh, what, what is your favorite invert in the country? Let me know. But I think it's personally one of the best. It's the longest in most inverting, invert in the country and in the world. And I think it's arguably the best. So let me know. Um, Invertigo, gun F tier again. Uh, probably the worst ride in the park. They need to completely tear this ride out, transform that front gate, and make it something interesting. Because that area has a lot of potential over there uh, with that action zone. But take out Invertigo, take out that water ride, uh, that Congo Falls, and I think you could transform that front area and that front gate into something like spectacular and beautiful. But just don't take away from the sight view of the Eiffel Tower. Um, let's go with. I think. I think the Beast deserves a spot at the A tier. It's not quite Hall of Fame tier. It's one of the most iconic rides, ever. Arguably one of the most iconic rides, but I don't think it. I mean, I think the layout. Obviously, it's not the most exciting layout. But going through the woods at night with this new renovation on it is just something spectacular and something you can't find in any other ride in the world. So it deserves a spot at the A tier. It is great. It is just not quite Hall of Fame. Almost there. 
Uh, Adventure Express. I want to put it in the C tier. I'm a bright run of the mill. It would have been in D tier if it wasn't for the theming of this ride. But let me know your comments. I, I don't know. I think I think the theming for it, it's getting enhanced theming this year. Um, but I think it's a C tier. I think it's average. And the th theming does add a little bit to it. Backlot is average. Um, I don't really have anything good to say about this right now. I don't think ha have anything bad. Seats are really tight. Um, I'm an average guy, you know, average weight. But, I mean, I don't know. This ride is just, I mean, the effects are good. It's better than King's Dominion because they actually have the effects running. Uh, but... It's nothing too exciting. I think a good family launch coaster would fit good here, but they have Backlot, they have Flight of Fear, so they're not going to get a family launched. I think the park would benefit from either a B&M, uh, not a flyer. No, I think I think they would benefit. Obviously, they need an RMC, but I think it'd be cool. Or even a mock stream spinner, but that's just my that's my dreams. I'm definitely blanking on the name right now. Um, putting that at the D tier. It's just an average ride. Kids ride. I can't really rank it. I mean, it's pretty smooth. It's better than the one. It's better than the Kitty Hawk or Carowinds. Uh, throwing, I'm throwing Racer up at the B tier. Uh, you guys, you guys might think it's C tier. I think Racer after the renovations and everything. I think this ride is pretty, pretty smooth. Good pops of airtime, and yeah, that's. I mean, it's it's just they did a good job maintaining this ride, and I give them props for it. It's the best racing ride in Ohio. And uh, you can't debate beyond that. Uh, let's go with Flight of Fear. I'm going to throw Flight of Fear at the B tier. Uh, just with Ver with Vortex and Racer. This is a good launch coaster. It's not the smoothest, obviously, because it's you know an old uh, ride from, I think, from the 80s uh, or 70s. I don't remember when this ride came out. But it's B tier. It's good theming. I love the theming with the UFOs. And we have so many UFOs flying around the country right now. It definitely just fits the theming of the United States. Keep that there. Diamondback, oh, Diamondback's definitely A tier. It has its good and it has its bad days. I've had to definitely be an rattle on it, but I've had the extreme, extremely good days with the um, just killer airtime on this ride. I don't personally think it's the best B&M hyper in the country, but it's definitely in the top three, top two, probably top. No, it's top two. There's there's one better, but you'll have to see my rankings for another video for that. But no, I love it. The splashdown is beautiful. Going through the forest and uh, getting great views from this ride. And just the, the airtime is unmatched on this ride. Love it. Definitely beats out Mako. Um, my favorite ride, my number three in the country is, in my list, is Mystic Timbers. Mystic Timbers is on um, my background on my computer. It's I have a picture printed out from a, another fellow enthusiast. It's like a 2D model of it. Um, I have a hat. I'm, I love this ride. This ride is beautiful. This ride is a masterpiece. This ride is Hall of Fame tier, and arguably the the best GCI in the country. And you can't. And I think I think. I mean, let me know in the comments. Debate me in the comments. I haven't read a lot of GCIs, but also if you want to check out our GCI episode, it's episode 38 on the podcast. You can listen to our interview with GCI and their their um their company PR lady. So it was a really good interview and we asked some really good questions and got some insight into some future projects. So check that out on our podcast on Spotify or Apple. And last but not least, we have Orion. Orion is A tier. Orion is not Hall of Fame tier. It's not the best giga in the country, but it gets a lot of hate. A lot of people would put in the B tier, I would think, but this ride deserves <clears throat> some recognition. It's a great drop. It's one of the best first drops on any ride that I've ever been on. It rivals Fury. It's basically the same drop, give or take, I'd say 10, 15 feet. Uh, it's, you know, virtually the same drop. But this ride is great. It's not the most forceful. It's very smooth B&M. Obviously, they don't take a lot of risks. But I prefer this ride front row too. Uh, it just, this first drop, will, it feels like it lasts forever. But that is my rankings, guys. I have Banshee up top, Mystic Timbers, and then obviously the two controversial ones, the bad and vertigo at F tier. I don't know what you guys personally think of these rides, but let me know if this is a good ranking. Let me know your thoughts on this and let me know what rides you would frankly have at the S or A tier or D and F tier or some controversial opinions that you have about Orion or anything in the Kings Island Park. But it, like I said, if you guys want to support our channel extra more, check out our podcast, our Instagram, our TikTok, our Twitter, everything of that matter. So I am Austin. I'm the Park Conference Radio. I'm out.